so today we're on campus OA. We're looking at a Neptune No style three bedroom, three bathroom property. Not very far from the shops. You've got a park over there. I think they call it the People's Park. So as always, I'm taking around the outside of the property first. You can probably hear me on the grass. Full size pool, as you can see. Steps walking down. You got your pump there. Look at that, eh? Now at the moment, it's half past 10 in the morning. I think when I looked at the temperature, it's just coming up to about 16. And I think it's today, we're into April now. It's going to be about 21. So this is something a little bit different. So you've got a shaded area there. Because as you can imagine, that sun, which is just up there, will come around. So this would be full in sun in the afternoon. And I presume this is probably what they've done. Is they've got this as a, a shaded area, a shaded terrace. Obviously you can have your guests. There's that garden as it's on about. It's probably about a five, 10 minute walk, I suppose, if that, to the shops on A. This comes right around the side. You've got a door there. I think there might be like a, an office there, but I'm not too sure. I haven't got the keys for that. That's something that you would have to have a word with the agent with. But it's just giving you a nice view of it. I can see over there at the barbecue area, looks like there's another sort of shed work area, possible. So this is the back garden. You've got a place to hang your washing on. You've got a lemon tree over there. Got barbecue over there. I haven't got the keys for that, but I presume it's like a, a sort of a garden shed workshop thing, I expect. So it's just giving you another view. Big property, the Neptunos. It's one of my favorites. Give me another view there. Lovely day today. Not a cloud in the sky at the moment. Now, a bit of storage area. Not too sure about the basement, guys. Another storage one there. So this is something else you would have to have a word with the agent about. So you've got off-road parking. Got a sliding gate there. Looking back onto the road. So there's definitely a, definitely a building here that I can't get into. So it must be in like another office. And just to put out outdoor tap, which is very handy guys, especially if you've got plants out here. So I think it's time to have a look at the property itself. So we're coming back into the main entrance as you walk in. This is your uh, terrace. Enclosed it is. Now I've left the curtains as they are, so it just shows you how light it is. Nice little seating area. So, shall we go in? So we come straight into the lounge. I shall slam the door. So, nice big space as always with the Neptunos. Now, another thing that you do need to ask, does this place come furnished? Some do, some don't. So anyway, coming through the door, you've got a cupboard, storage cupboard there, usually for your Hoover and other accessories. Um, you've got plenty of open space windows and that. Now, obviously, um, I am opened up those curtains there, but you can still see how light it is just in here at the moment. So we've got a ceiling fan, 
Another good thing about this one, you've got an enclosed internal staircase that goes up into the top, which I will show you later. I'll just take you around a bit more. It's always difficult to show you guys on the video how big these rooms are. And there's no point in giving me giving you measurements. So anyway, there's the dining room area. Nice view out the window there, looking across to the campo. Straight into the kitchen. Now I haven't opened up the blind thing there, but you can see pretty well into the kitchen. So you've got washing machine there, you've got your sink, so you look out the Look out there onto the campo. Oh, go on, let's let me show it to you. <laughs> right, so you've got your oven just here with the extractor. Now, I presume, looking at underneath there, you've got a boiler there for hot water. These are all things you're going to have to ask the agent about, about heating, hot water, things like that. But I'm just giving you an idea of what you expect if you was interested in this property. So, we've done that. Let's go into the first two bedrooms. This is the, what I love about the Neptunos. Big, spy, big space, um, lots of little rooms. So this is the master bedroom, but I'm not taking you in there. <laughs> I'm taking you into the guest bathroom first. So you've got just the usual, what you expect in the toilet. You've got a walk-in shower here. Let's take you up there, down below. Looking back out. So we're going to the best, the guest bedroom. That's right, what I will gonna say now, guys, I couldn't open up uh, the shutters there for some reason. So, give you, gives you an idea. Now they've got a double bed in here. You've got some cupboard space. You've got a cupboard space just over there. You've got a ceiling light. Ceiling light. You've got a ceiling fan with the light. So I'm just going to take you around this side, give you another view of the bedroom. Right. So now we go into the master bedroom. Nice bright room. So you've got your ceiling light and fan, double bed. Now you've got a view out to the pool as well from that angle. I'll just give you another look through back where we just come from. And we've got this corridor, which I always love. So we're going to take you through the corridor. So you've got plenty of uh, storage space. As you can see, you've got a built-in wardrobe, a smaller wardrobe just there. We go straight into the bathroom. You've got a full-size bath there. There's also, I'm right in thinking, a shower attachment, usually, and there is. And B-Day. So, now we go upstairs. So we've seen two bedrooms already. So now I'm gonna take you upstairs through the uh, internal staircase. One good point, it's got a handrail, which guys, it so makes it much more safer when you're going up these staircases. Now when we go through this door, I've never seen a room so big. Look at this. Wow. It's, I've never been into a Neptuno top box where it's so big. I mean, knockout. So you've got a built-in wardrobe there. Obviously somebody's been using this as a bit of like an office. There's a double bed. You've got another cupboard space there. You've got a view out the window. Right, 
I'm still catching my breath. I'll just take you around to the uh, bathroom. Now obviously, because they made this a, such a big room, this bathroom is a little bit smaller, but hey, it's big enough. And you've got a bidet in there as well. You've got a bath with a shower attachment. A view out the window. If you can see it, it's just focus that in for such a bright day. So that's the, uh, I think they call it the People's Park. You've got the mountains in the background there. Spending too much time on that. Anyway, the reason I'm doing that is because unfortunately I haven't got a keys for the sun terrace up the top here. So I can just show you through the window. So you can see what I mean, we're right on the camp over here. So if you've got pets, especially dogs, you can just walk for miles, guys. And uh, Mazarone in the port is that direction. So there it is. So I can't get out there, but no, I can't always gain access to everything. So, look at that, eh? That's a big room. And you've got three ceiling fans. So, should we go back downstairs and have a quick chat about uh, who to contact? So, I hope you enjoyed the tour. So, we were looking at a three bedroom, three bar from Neptuno style villa here on campus OA. I would say, if you're a good walker, you could probably do shops in five minutes. If you're like me, take your time. I would say a 10 minute walk from here. You've got some amazing views at the back here, guys, with the Campo. You're on the sort of like I cross it as the perimeter road here on A. So, who do you contact? Don't contact me, guys, because I'm not an estate agent. Like I've always said before, any questions, you need to contact the estate agent. Who are Campus Old Property Sales? They will give you all the information you need to know about this property, because there's a few things I wasn't too sure of around the side there. I think there's another office there. I do like the covered terrace at the back there, especially in the afternoons when that sun comes around. If you're sat near the pool and that nice bit of shade upstairs. Wow, never seen a room that big before in a Neptuno. So, lovely property. So anyway, if you contact them, they will arrange, because I always say, you've got to view it guys, you've got to come in and have a look yourself. The video can show you so much, but you still don't get the feel until you walk in and you know that this place is for you. So get in touch with them by phone or email and um, yeah, book a date. And don't just look at the property, have a look at the area. It's a lovely area, Campus Hill. You're not far from the beaches. Some people say, oh, it's 10 minutes. I would say give it a good 20 minutes drive from here. But you've got some amazing beaches, especially down at Bowway. Uh, you've got a bar there, you can sit out on the beach, and you've got a pool. Anyway, going on too much now, I'm gabbling too much. <laughs> but if you want to know not more about Campus Cell, guys, check out my playlist, because I've got loads of stuff on their playlist about Campus Cell, all the different sectors, all the different amenities, what you can do here, walks, getting to the airport, getting back from the airport, just local information. So check out my playlist. Anyway, I hope you enjoy these videos. Plenty more to come. I could take, I'm gonna have a nice cold drink in the mo. Anyway, adios guys.